Okay, so today we're going to create another Python script where we will essentially be able to crack uh, any hashed passwords that we store within our dictionary. So we'll go ahead and import the hash library again. And we'll create a first function, we'll call it dictionary. So we'll go ahead and we'll set up our dictionary. So we'll create a dictionary of essentially uh, common passwords. So we'll say um, let me in password one two three four five uh, and so on. So we actually could go on the internet and put in here the top 500 used passwords or whatever but for the sake of this tutorial we'll just use these four here. So now we've set up a dictionary of common passwords and we'll just create a variable. We'll say password found is equal to false and uh, make sure you use capital F because if we do lowercase f it doesn't work. So the password found is initially it's always going to be false. So we'll go ahead and create a loop. So we'll say for the we'll call it dictionary value. So make sure you assign um, a useful name to your variables and loops. So for the dictionary value, uh, vari value in the dictionary, let's put that right. Then we'll say our hashed value is equal to the hash library dot. Uh, well, we've done this before, but we can say MD5 or the SHA, but we'll go ahead and pick MD5. And then we want to be using our dictionary value there. And then close the brackets completely. And then, as usual, we do our dot hex digest just so that it returns a 32-bit character hash and not the the object. So we're going to say if the hashed value that we got is equal to, so we're going to use the direct comparison operator, so this, this means equal to, it's not an assignment, assignment which the single equals is. So we'll say if the hash value is equal to the password hash, which we'll go on and define in a minute, We'll say password found is true, and then make sure we use a capital T. So it's initially false here. However, if it's found, we'll set it to true, and then we'll create another variable. We'll say uh, recovered password equal to the dictionary value, and then we'll create. A function here. We'll say if password found is equal to true. So if it's matched here, if it's true, we'll print out a statement saying found match for hashed value. And then what we can do is actually just print out again the password hash. So the user definitely knows it's that hash that we're and cracking. Then we'll do another print statement and we'll just say actually we could put in a new line here. And we'll just say in here that the password is recovered. So I'll say password recovered. And then the recovered password which we've stated here. And else, so if the password's not found, we're just going to print out a statement to the user saying the password was not found. Okay, and then we'll create our main and we'll say that the password hash 
is equal to, so we're using the raw input again, which we can manually put in the hash, and we'll say enter hashed value, and then what we'll do is we'll say dictionary attack, so we're calling this function up here, except this time what we're going to do is pass in the password hash and then we'll need to pass in up here some password hash. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and copy across boiler code. Put that in there. So if we now file save as, we'll save it as password cracker 2.py Okay, so this should run. So what we're going to do first though is go ahead and use the script that we previously used which was this password hashing. So we'll run this and we'll get a hash of one of the passwords that we had in the dictionary. So one of them was let me in. So we'll go ahead and put that in. So it gives us our hash. So we'll copy that. We can now close that. So now if we run this, so enter hash value. So we'll just paste that in. There we go. So found a match for hash value. This is our hash value. The password recovered is let me in, which is one of the passwords that we have in here. So what happens if we put in a password that's not in here? So it should return us password not found. So we'll run it again and we'll say our password is football123. And then it says there that the password was not found. So what we can also do is, instead of manually inputting the hash into the script, we could also set it manually. So we just comment that out. And we'll say that password hash is equal to, and then we just simply paste in our hash. So instead of having to manually put it in, we can just for debug purposes we can just put the hash in here so it's automatically assigned, we don't need to go in and put anything that's already there. So if we run this now, okay, I forgot my, and there we go. So it has taken this again and it does recover the password for us.